welcome Miss America Nina Dabaluri. Nina is the first Miss America ever appointed to the Miss America Foundation Board. Nina is a public speaker who has, who has spoken at Harvard and Yale and is going back to school in 2016. And she's now going to share, say a few words to us. Good evening, everyone. Thank you so much. It's such an honor to especially be here in my home state of New York accepting this. And of course, thank you so much to India Abroad. Um, I'm, unfortunately, my parents could not be here tonight, and I have to be honest, I'm a little grateful because they would probably say, Nina, remember that time you didn't win the spelling bee? <laughs> <laughs> But that's how my family is, and I think that's how a lot of our families are, and that's why we're here today. Because no matter what we've achieved, we always think about the next step. And that's how I was raised. And so I think the Face of the Future Award is very fitting for that. Because my journey to Miss America was very different. When I competed for the second time, when I was competing for Miss New York, I remember, one, telling my family that I was going to compete, and I only told my family because they were too embarrassed to really tell anyone else. And I remember sitting them down and saying, this is what I wanted. And I sat down with my mom and sister. My sister's name is Mina, Mina and Nina. My parents said it was very cute to have rhyming names. Who, um, who by the way, won the spelling bee and is a doctor. So totally the golden child in my family. But I remember sitting down with her. She's my best friend. Um, she's older and we're 18 months apart. And she said to me, Nina, why are you investing so much time into this organization? What does it really mean to you? And I said to her, I sincerely believe that two to three years from now, Miss America will be someone who's ethnic. And that's not to pull the race card. That's not to say, pick me, I'm brown. It just felt so timely for this organization to finally reach out to a new demographic of young women that's representative of what America is today. And although my dream culminated in, one of my dreams, I should say, culminated in the way that it did, ultimately it wasn't about me. It was about that young girl who I knew was watching Miss America like I was many years ago. And for her to finally say, this year, Miss America looks like me. And I don't have to have the stereotypical blonde hair, blue eyes, or have what people might consider a normal talent to be in this role. And that's essentially the beauty of the American dream. And I think what's so great about the American dream is that the face of America changes as each new generation comes along. And I can honestly say that I would not be as successful as I am today if it weren't for all of the hard work of each and every single person in this room and their parents and every single Indian American before us who have paved the way to make our community so successful. So thank you all for making this an opportunity for all of us because it was not about me, it's about all of us. As you all know, Miss America changed my life in so many ways that's, that's very difficult to articulate. But what I'm most proud of is that it's given me a voice. It's given me a voice beyond my year because my year has now ended. And it's given me a voice as Nina Davalori, and I take that very seriously. And so my work as a speaker for my platform, which is celebrating diversity through cultural competency, has continued. My work as an advocate has continued. And more importantly, my work as a global entrepreneur has also continued. So I look forward to continuing all of that work. But I would really like to end tonight with a little bit of advice for future generations and future leaders and future faces of the future. Um, but what I would really like to say is that in this path of life and in this journey, you really have to be, be yourself. And I know that's so much easier said than done. But to know who you are, love who you are, and stand up for who you are is what makes us so great. So thank you all for having me tonight. Thank you so much to India Abroad. It's truly an honor to be here amongst all of you. Thank you for welcoming me.